Hello and welcome to KBase Video Tutorials. In this video we will demonstrate how to upload and download data for KBase analysis. Before we do any analysis in KBase, we need to bring the data into the narrative. We will begin in an existing narrative. If you are unfamiliar with the KBase narrative, please see our narrative guide tutorial or read the guide on our website. Bringing data into KBase is a two-step process. First, we need to upload the file to the staging area. This is a temporary storage where copies of files are held until they are imported into the narrative. Be aware that files in this area are only kept for 90 days. The second step is to import the data into a KBase object. These created objects contain the data from the uploaded files in a specific structure that facilitates the workflows in KBase. These objects can be kept indefinitely and do not expire. First, we'll upload the file to the staging area. There are three ways to do this. The first is to directly upload from a local machine. First, we'll click on the red Add Data button in the Data panel. Next, we'll navigate to the Import tab on the right-hand side of the slide-out menu. Then, we can either drag and drop the file into the dashed box from File Explorer in Windows or Finder in Mac OS, or click in the dashed box to open up a window to select the file. The new file will appear in the staging area below. If it doesn't appear immediately, we can manually refresh the staging area by clicking on the circular arrow button next to our username. The drawback of this method is that it is restricted to files smaller than 20 gigabytes due to the limitations of browsers. The second method to upload files into the staging area is to use Globus. Globus is a third-party service that facilitates transfers from our local machine to KBase. We must have an existing Globus account linked to our KBase account to use this service. For instructions on how to link the accounts and set up a Globus endpoint, please see our Globus setup tutorial video. To transfer the file through Globus, we'll navigate to globus.org and log in. We'll select the endpoint where the file is located from the collection section of the file manager and then find the file. We'll then click on the button on the right that says transfer or sync to. This will add a new field to enter the destination for the transfer. We will select KBase bulk share from the collections and then our personal endpoint from the path name. The KBase bulk share endpoint will be listed under endpoints shared with you, and the path to our endpoint will be our KBase username. Once the correct file and destination are selected, we'll click on the arrow button pointing in the correct direction for the transfer. Transfers can be carried out in either direction, so we could alternatively select the staging area endpoint on the left side and the origin location on the right. Globus will manage this transfer behind the scenes so we can close this tab and wait for it to complete. We'll return to the Add Data slideout of the narrative. Once the file has transferred, it will appear in the staging area as with the previous example. Again, we can manually refresh the staging area if it doesn't appear immediately. Our third option to transfer data is directly from the web. To do this, the file must be publicly available such as on a public FTP server or a OneDrive, Google Drive, or Dropbox file with link sharing enabled. We'll select the Upload File to Staging from Web app from the Apps menu. Next, we'll choose the appropriate link type from the URL type dropdown and paste the URL for the file, and then click Run. When the app has run to completion, the file will be in the staging area. Once the files are in the staging area, they need to be imported to generate a KBase object. We'll return to the Add Data slideout. Next, we'll choose the correct file type for the file we're going to import from the drop-down menu and then click the first button to the right of that drop-down menu to import it. This will open an app to import the file from staging. There will be different parameters to fill in depending on the file type. We'll fill these in as applicable, give the object a name, and then click Run. Once the app has completed, there will be a new object in the data panel that we can view or use for analysis. There are some exceptions to this typical two-step process. Currently, we can import paired-in reads, single-in reads, or SRA files directly into the narrative through specific apps that combine the two steps. We can also add existing data to the narrative. In the Add Data slideout, there are tabs for My Data, Shared With Me, Public, and Example Data. In all of these sections, we can add data objects to the narrative by hovering over the object we want to add and clicking on the blue Add button. The My Data tab contains all of the data in our narratives. We can add copies of these data objects to other narratives. The narrative that contains the data is listed with each data object to distinguish different data objects that may have the same name in different narratives. The Shared With Me tab contains all of the data objects from narratives that other users have shared with us. In both of these sections, we can search for data by name or filter the data based on type or the narrative that contains the object. 
The Public Data tab contains data from different public databases such as RefSeq and JGI's Mycocosm and Phytosome. We can select the database we want to use and then search for a particular species. The example data contains examples of different types of data objects that can be found in KBase. Once we have completed our analysis in KBase, there are two ways to download the results. The first is to download the data directly from the browser. We'll click on the object name, then the download icon, and then click on the file type to export, such as FASTA for assemblies. The second option to download the data is through Globus. We'll click on the object to download again, and this time select Staging. This will export the data as a file to the staging area, and from there we can transfer the data to our local machine in the same way we uploaded the data previously, but in the opposite direction. Thank you for watching this KBase video tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos, follow us on Twitter for updates about new functionality or KBase events, and if you have a question or encounter an error, please join our KBase help board.